There are two more dominant seventh chords in open position that are directly related to major triad voicings that you already know, and these are G7 and C7. Now the G7 chord is formed starting with the G major triad, and you're going to lift up your pinky on the first string there and replace it with the first finger. So now you wind up with the first finger here, open strings, and then the second and third fingers right where they were on the G chord. So there's G major, there's G7. Now the C7 chord, like the others, is formed by adding a note to the C major triad. There's the C major triad, and in this case I have to get all four fingers in on the action. So my pinky's going to go over here on the third string at the third fret, and I form that C major chord around it, and there's C7. Now practice going back and forth from G7 to C7 a few times. And again, paying attention to where each finger goes and moving the fingers as a group. Now we're going to add those two chords together with D7, which you already know, and with G7, C7, and D7, you're able to play with practice track number two, which is in the key of G, and combines those three chords. So just as you did with the major chords and the minor chords, you can now play dominant chords over practice track number two, and again, stay in tempo, make the chord changes real smooth, and when you're able to make it through that progression on time, you're ready to move on again.